We got to get him to the hospital. What's that for? Target practice. It's an X-ray machine. Well, it's in now. Mister's here. Operation. I'm not having any operation. What are you doing? I'm checking out. Are you a chicken? This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoon. A remote clearing in the evergreen forest. A perfect picture of natural, untouched beauty. But for some, the swampland that lies just beyond is a part of the picture that needs a little touching up. Let her go, Seymour! Ah, that hides the swamp nicely. Ah, our first victim. Move it, Seymour. You know the routine. This could be five minutes. Mr. Sneer! Oh, super to meet you. Yeah, what do you think of the property? Uh, terrific or what? You know, this morning I had to hit myself on the head and ask, why am I selling this fabulous forest for so little? Uh, but now I know I really like you. Cut the baloney, Midas. I just ate. Pigs, I want this land measured from top to bottom. Right away, boss. Mr. Sneer, that isn't necessary. I have a complete survey of the land and a bill of sale ready for your signature. Really? How convenient. Well, then let's do this deal. Uh, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. When it comes to spending my money, I'm a careful man. I've only made three mistakes in my entire life. Really? Yeah, what were they? Whoops. <laughs> that answer your question? If you bumbling bacon bits are finished your performance, get back to work! Oh, who could this be? Another buyer, perhaps? Hey, hold your horses there, Midas. I was here first. I appreciate that, Mr. Sneer, but I have other business ventures to pursue. Uh, time waits for no tycoon, you know. Opportunity is honking at my door. This land is the perfect spot for my new warehouse. <laughs> hey, Midas! You seem like a reasonable guy. Let's do this deal. You made the right decision, Mr. Sneer. Uh, just look at this land. Why, it's just pretty as a picture. Oh, oh, my stomach. Ah! Ah, get me into the curb, boys. But Mr. Sneer, the deal. Here, you haven't signed yet. We've got to get him to the hospital. The hospital? No. Oh. But Mr. Sneer! Huh? Uh, what happened? Are you all right? Nothing to worry about, son. Ooh! Uh, hold your horses, Mr. Sneer. You're not going anyplace. What's wrong with my pop, Dr. Kennard? Well, I'm not sure. I'm gonna run some tests, and hopefully in a couple of days, uh, he'll be just fine and back in operation. An operation? I'm not having any operation. Ooh! Relax, Mr. Sneer. No one said anything about an operation. Now you leave that in until the nurse comes to take it out. Pop, I really think you should stay and let the hospital find out what's wrong with you. The pigs can take care of your business deal. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing, Pop. I'll come and visit every day. See you later, Pop. I'll be back to check on you, and if you need anything, uh, just push that button and the nurse will come. What are you? The entertainment around here? Listen, take it from an expert. 
You're never gonna fool Nurse Peck with that old trick. An expert, huh? Well, just watch me, kid, because I don't intend to stick around here and listen to your entire repertoire. Well, aren't we the impatient patient? Temperature's fine, I guess. I can get out of here. You're not going anywhere, young man. Why, you're as cold as that glass of ice water on your night table. I can't stay here. This is a hospital. My, my. For someone who is so cold, we are hot under the collar, aren't we? Hey, I paid for a private room. What's the big deal? No big deal. This happens all the time around here. These are a wee bit crowded, but I'm sure you two will be the best of friends in no time. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> wow! Now, it's here! It finally came! Uh, what's finally here, Bert? I ordered this months ago! Oh, I thought it was never gonna come! A silver silhouette remote bomber! And with this remote control, I can make it do loops, dives, barrel rolls! Why, it can do practically anything! Can it make a pizza crust? <laughs> oh, funny, though. Come on, let's give it a test flight! Listen to that engine purr. <laughs> Bert Raccoon, flying ace. The bomber has its orders. It has clearance for takeoff on its way to another date with destiny in the clouds. Hey, it's not working. Take off, take off. Looks like the bomber had a change in orders, Bert. Ralph, I've been ripped off. Uh, this is the life, eh, boys? <laughs> yeah. With the boss out of the way, we can finally relax and be ourselves. Yeah, just a bunch of madcap millionaires. Hey, watch this. A perfect swine dive. Hello? Oh, oh uh, hi, boss. Oh, yes, we're hard at work here in the office. <laughs> uh, well, we pooled our resources and uh, are keeping things afloat. The land deal? Oh, well, of course we're taking care of it. Uh, hold on a minute, boss. Here, the boss wants you to take care of this pronto. But I'm busy. Delegate. It's as good as done, boss. Read you the stock prices? Oh, sure. One size fits all. Here, here it is. Hey, thanks. Water? <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't water. Um, we're just uh, diving into all the work here. Ooh. Hello. Hello. What are those underhanded ham hocks up to? What is all this yelling for? This is a hospital, not the stock exchange. Now, Dr. Kennard said you're well enough to go home. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sneer, you do brighten the place up with your humor. No, for your tests, of course. Wait, couldn't I just take a written test on this one? <laughs> no, this is more like a screen test. <laughs> now you've got me doing it. Now relax, Mr. Sneer, this is the last one. What's that for, target practice? Don't you know anything? It's an x-ray machine. It takes pictures of your insides. Now, Danny, you run along. Mr. Sneer is almost finished. Yeah, sure. I'm going, I'm going. Hold still now. That's it, Mr. Sneer. Your tests are over. Now the doctor has prescribed a little something to help you with the pains you've been having. Mr. Sneer? Mr. Sneer? Thank you anyway, operator. Goodbye. Hi, Bert. Still grounded? I can't even get my money back. I tried to call the company that sells it, but their phone's been disconnected. Oh, that's too bad, Bert. Yeah, and I'll bet I'm not the only one that got suckered into buying it. Oh, it looks so good in the ad on the back of this comic. Hmm. Money cheerfully refunded if not completely satisfied. Hey, I know a guy who works for the company that publishes this comic. I could give him a call and see if he can come up with some information for you. That'd be great, Ralph. Those guys will be sorry they ever sold Bert Raccoon a bunch of junk. I'm packing my briefcase and I'm out of here. Nurse Peck. <laughs> You're not 
Hiding from me, are you, Mr. Sneer? Hiding? No, just trying to stay out of your way. I know how busy you are. Oh, oh. Now get back into bed. You're a sick man. I'm nearly finished here. Now, Mr. Sneer, this should help. I get three needles a day. I don't even think about it. I just think about, you know, good stuff. Now there's a good idea. Try that, Mr. Sneer. Well, there is money and gold and stocks. Bonds are nice, too, and corporate takeovers. Mr. Sneer, if you're quite finished, I think it's time we all got some rest. <laughs> Nothing to it. I told you I'm an expert at this hospital stuff. Well, Mr. Expert, try turning that harmonica around and it'll sound a lot better. Oh, yeah. Okay, all you madcap millionaires, it's party time! When darkness falls, leaving shadows in the night. Don't be afraid, wipe that fear from your eyes. The desperate love keeps on driving you wrong. Don't be afraid. Thanks for trying anyway, Shaper. Good news, Bert. I got the name of the president of the company that sells the remote bomber. And from everything we could find out about this guy, he's a real weasel. His name is Milton Midas. Milton Midas here, your man of a million miraculous Midas deals. This fabulous Midas forest has just become available and it's got to go, friends. Take a look at the Midas workmanship on these Midas trees. It's all at Midas wood. So run, Walker, crawl on down here tomorrow for the auctioning off of these incredible Midas Shakers! Just who am I to be offering you such a dynamite might of steel? Well, I'm the man with the golden touch. Mr. Milton Midas! Milton Midas? I know. Isn't television great? The golden touch, Mr. Milton Midas! Oh, no! We forgot to close the land deal! Madcap Millionaires! The party's not over! Oh, the party's over, all right. Never mind our lives. Oh, golly gosh, gee whiz. Have I missed something? I'm a bit worried about him. How's he doing, Doctor? Well, I've gone through his test results, and he's going to need an operation. An operation? Mr. Sneer. What are you doing? I'm checking out. Why? Because they want to operate on me, that's why. Are you a chicken? Listen, kid, do you have any idea what those doctors do to you? Oh, sure. I've had operations before. You have? Yeah, and they're not all that bad. Well, the first time was always a bit scary. I guess I wasn't that brave, but... <laughs> If you're brave enough to climb out there, 
You're brave enough to handle an operation. Trust me. Well, Mr. Midas, we've come to sign the deal. Kids, <laughs> uh, you must be history buffs, because that deal is an ancient event. Our boss gave us carte blanche. And maybe we could throw in the pins, sort of like a bit of a... Kids, kids. <laughs> oh, you make me smile. I like to smile, so I'm going to make this easy for you to understand. The original deal is off. Kids. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Milton Midas? What? I bought this plane from your company, see? And it doesn't work. Listen here, kiddo. I've got an image to watch here. What you want is a crash course in timing. Yeah, well, uh, I'll be on my way just as soon as I get my refund, like it says here in your ad. Money cheerfully refunded, if not completely satisfied. I said that? That's right. Oh, imagine that. I must have left my refund money at home. But I'm sure I can fix that plane for you. Oh, just a minor adjustment and it should work like a charm. There, that should do it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an auction to get started. Uh, how's everyone today? All ready to face an... An operation? I was going to say, ready to face another day, Mr. Snyder. As far as I know, you're not scheduled for any surgery. I do have the news on your tests, though, and, uh, well, you have an ulcer. An ulcer? Yeah. Now, it can be caused by many things, but, uh, in your case, it seems to be stress. Well, with the proper diet and a little less tension in your life, that ulcer shouldn't cause you any problems at all. Uh, you can go home now. Home now? Great! Hey, Daddy, isn't that great? Yeah, sure. That's the kind of news I like to hear. Now listen, you fix this kid up fast and get him out of here, too. Yes. Well, that would be nice. Goodbye, Mr. Sneer. Ciao, Doc. Now, Danny, uh, I have to talk to you for a moment. That's right, friends. Just ten more minutes to Midas auction time, and this Midas land is gone, gone, gone. So grab those golden credit cards and charge on down to Midas land. Midas! Why those idiotic oikers? I lose this land, I'll fire them out of a cannon. Wait, my briefcase. <sighs> I'm sorry, Danny, but well, we've had to cancel your operation. But I want to go home. How long will I have to wait this time? I don't know, Danny. It's the same old problem. The blood bank is low again. Are you feeling okay, Mr. Sneer? You're an awful shade of pink. Yeah, I, I, I'm all right. Say, uh... What do you have to do to give blood around here? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teeny needle and a bit of your time. Did you say needle? I'll, I'll lose the land. Where do you hide this blood bank in it? Now, if everyone's ready, we'll get the show on the road. Who started the bidding on this pretty piece of property? Do I hear $10,000? Excellent. Do I have 11? Yes, I got 11. Do I have 12? 12. 12. I got 12. Who'll make me 15? 15. Fabulous. Ah, do I hear 20? 20. Let's hear that 20. There's 20. Ah. Oh, what's going on? Oh, do something, Lloyd. What can I do? Do what the boss would do if he were here. He'd get real mad if he were here. You're right. Two thousand dollars! Two thousand? <laughs> so I wouldn't give that kid a shake. The train left the station and he's still looking for his tickets. I'll show him. Two million dollars! Two million million dollars! Hmm. Let's see if this thing really is fixed. Hey! Oh my, it's out of control. Two million dollars once. My bid certainly made an impression on that big shot, didn't it? Oh, it certainly did. And when the boss hears about this, he'll impress us. Six feet into the ground. Two m -m -m million dollars. <laughs> Twice. <Kids. laughs> Is everyone okay? I hope no one got hurt or, or, or torn. Hey, this whole thing is a setup. 
It's another Midas scam, just like my bomber. It's all swamp, man. Wait, here she's here. Here, look. I know my timing could be off, but I'd like that refund now. Refund, schmefund, kid. Here, take it and leave. Thank you. Oh, what are you still doing here, Cedric? Uh, just waiting for Pop. He heard Danny was out of surgery and wanted to stop by and say hello. Ah, two miracles in one day. First your father gives blood, and now he's voluntarily listening to the lad's music. And that's the way you blow a herp, kid. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, well, I was just worried about the next poor soul that has to listen to all your squawking. To the untrained ear, the music that came from the hospital room that night might have sounded tuneless. But to Cyril and Danny, there was no sweeter sound. For the two had formed a friendship through the ultimate gift of sharing. Land scam, auction, Sneer Industries bid two million dollars, where you meet heads out of your minds. <laughs> it was just a bluff to expose him, boss. Really, we knew all along the land was worthless. Oh, you did, did you? Uh, just what in tarnation is this doing here? Um, we were planning a welcome home party for you? Not very likely. Hello? No, this isn't the butler. The madcap millionaires. Ask them when they're having their next mansion-shaking party. Ooh. Careful. Think of your stress level, boss. Oh, yeah. You, you don't want to end up back in the, in the hospital. <laughs> Hospitals don't bother me anymore, but you clowns do. And when I get to the bottom of this, that's just where you'll be. In the hospital. Come back here, you pork rind. Stop. Run for it!